Hey everyone, welcome to Lawyer Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three features of Blade that you might not know about. So let's get started. The first one is the loop variable. Every time you use a for each loop, there is a dollar loop variable available inside it. And there are so many properties of the loop variable that you can use, which can be very, very useful. First of all, let me show you one thing where you could use it. So here, let me go to web.php and here is the home controller. Here I have passed users. Let me go here inside the welcome. Here is a card and I am using for each loop inside over here. And I'm looping through this div and inside here I have shown this index plus one, which is a number, name and email. And if you come here in the Laravel here, laratips.test, then you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, there are 15 users. Now let me try to show border top over here and some background over here. Let's say on the even row, I want to show some background and at the bottom, I want to show a borderline. Then I had to do it like this. You can see here index zero. If index is zero, this index will give me the index of this loop. If it is zero, which means that the first one, then we'll do border top here. We'll give border top and if that is the last element if this is the first element we'll do border top if it is the last element we'll do border bottom which means we'll have a border bottom at the end and we will just give bg grade 200 class if this is the even number percent two equals to one will be actually even because the index starts from zero so if this is the even number over here then we will just give it a gray background now if I come here and refresh, then you can see here the border top is over here, the border bottom is over here and all the even numbers or the even rows are getting this gray background. And if you look here, then this is looking a little bit complicated, but with the power of loop variable, this will look much more cleaner. Let me just show you over here in the documentation, then we have all these properties over here. We'll use few of them and you can just look all the features in the documentation i'll be leaving the link of this just below that like button so here we are doing is for the first element we are giving this class so now here i'll just do loop first like this so whenever it is looping through this users if it is a first element then it will give this otherwise it will just give empty class so it will return true for the first one and for every other loop it will just return false similarly we also have a last property we'll say loop last and only for the last row it will show this class and otherwise it will just hide it or it will just don't add it and this also we can say here let's say loop even and now you can see here it looks much more cleaner so for the even it will show this gray background otherwise empty now let me come here and refresh then you can see here it is looking the same way which means that we have made our blade so much cleaner so what do you think about this loop variables just let me know in the comment section below and if you like this loop variable then like this video as well and subscribe now let us move to the second thing which will make this even cleaner and the second one is the conditional classes which is this class directive and how does it work if you see here if we pass here true then it will actually show this class otherwise it will hide so now let me show you over here we want all these classes to appear so for now let me just write it over here and then i'll remove this one so here i'll write class like this and here if we want the class to always appear then we'll just write it like this over here the, it will not act as a key but it will act as a value but let's say here now we want this border t to appear for the first loop then we'll write it like this and in a value this will be the key and in the value we'll say either true or false if it is true then this class will be present in this div otherwise it will not be present so we will just write here like this and similarly for the border let's say b we'll say last and now the last one bz gray 200 like this and it will only be visible if the loop is even 
now i can remove all these things from here and you can see here it is much more cleaner than before also now if i come here go over here and refresh the page then you can see here it is again looking the same way which means that we have successfully used this class blade directive it is just like fuse.js class binding i definitely like this class directive and i hope you also like it and now let's move to the third and the last blade feature that you might not know is the blade once directive which is this one the once directive allows us to define a portion of a template or html that will only be evaluated once for the rendering cycle this is written over here and now let me show you what does it mean let me take you to the same example over here so for this one let me just write this inside a blade directive okay so here let me cut it out and let me go over here and let me just say here users dot blade dot php and let me paste that code over here now here i'll just include it include users like this it will work the same way let me just go over here and refresh then you can see here it will work the same way now you can see here i have commented this script out over here let me just uncomment it just call it from here and just write it over here you can see here it is inside this users blade which is actually inside the loop which means that this thing will be rendered 15 times because we have 15 users over here now this user data let me just use it over here i'll just use alpine js for example okay so x test data equals to like this over here and you only want this to be rendered once first let me show you that so i will refresh over here and i'll show you the source code and let me just copy this thing so user data let me source for it user data and you can see here function user data function user data so many things this script is rendered 15 times but we only want this to be rendered once but now if i click here i will not click here but if i click here then it will show a lot 15 times because we have defined that function 15 times this is the exact problem that this once directive will solve so now let me just add this inside once like this so once and add the rate in once like this i have just written this block inside the once which means that it will only be rendered once now let me just go over here refresh and open this source code and let me source for this user data then you can see here in the script we only have this user data once so you can see here there is no other user data in the script now if i come here and click over here then you can see here clicked and if i click here and it is again showing me clicked only once so what do you think about these three unique features of blade let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching have a great day bye